coming at you guys live in my backyard right here by my shed what I'm gonna do today you guys I'm about to show you guys how to string up a weed either some of you guys call it a weed whacker and I'm also gonna show you guys how to crank up a blower both of them is made by steel but any other product that's made exactly like these you guys you probably can crank them up the exact same so first I'm gonna show you guys how to string up the weed whacker and then once I do that we're gonna go to the blower the weed whacker you guys is what I'm telling you here it is actually the steel it's actually the steel brand and I'm gonna show you guys how to string it up this is actually the FS111 model, but it doesn't matter which model it is, they all string up the same. And I'm going to show you guys how to put the string inside of there. That's how I look from the back. And this is how I look from the front. That's where the string goes at. And I'm also going to show you guys how to crank up. The steel blower, the type of steel blower that I have, it is the, the BR700 model, but it doesn't matter which model you get because they all crank up the same. And I'm going to show you guys how to crank that up as well. Now, whenever we're using these products, in order to uh, gas them up, not only you use gas, but you have to put two cycle oil inside of your gas and as you guys can see this particular container says it makes two gallons see that at the bottom all right so once you get your container you want to put two gallons in the container first of gas and then you want to add this steel high performance two cycle engine oil to it as well you cannot use gas alone because you'll mess up the pistons and both of the engines and both of the equipment. So you have to use two cycle oil. You don't necessarily have to get the one that I'm showing you now. You can get the ones at Home Depot or Lowe's, but I prefer to get the brand that's made for the equipment. So the first thing I'm going to do with this, I'm going to show you guys how to take this off and how to string it up. type of string that I'm going to use today you guys is this the type of wire that I use is called Gator G-A-T-O-R and the reason why I like this you guys it has like a little thin little steel little rod down the middle of it so it doesn't wear out as fast and how do you know that the correct length to put into it what I would do is I take this and while I'm standing towards my chest I'll scratch out my arm and I'll do this four times. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. So once I do that four times, I'll go ahead and cut the string. You can use a knife, you can use a razor to cut it or you can use some scissors. So I'll cut the string. I'll cut the string and I'll do the exact same thing because you have to have two layers of wire on it at one time. So that's one piece. I'll do the exact same thing for the other side. That's how you know you have the, the right amount of length of string in each one. So I'll hold my hand out like I'm doing now and I got that all the way to the tip of my finger. That's considered one. Two. Three. Four. 
four. So then I take that and I cut that as well. So once I got both lengths of wire where I want them, I'll go ahead and grab my weed eater. When I get the weed eater, I got the top part placed on the ground. And what you want to do is on the side of it, see that little square thing there? You can push that in with your finger, which will cause it to loosen up. So I mash it in with my thumb and lift that side up. See how that side came up? Then I turn it around to the other little square right here and I mash that as well. And then you have the top off. Once you have the top off, you wanna get that out of your way. This is how it will look once you take the top off. It'll look like this. Then, this little piece in here, what you wanna do is, you wanna push that in, cause it has a spring. You wanna push that in, turn it to the left or right, just a tad bit, and pull it out. Once it come out, you can see that it does have a spring on the inside of it. Now this is the actual piece that you're gonna be putting the string on. So let me show you how to put the string on. Okay. On the bottom of it where the spring is located, where you see the spring, it shows you the directions of which way the wire you need to go on to the string holder. And by me looking at this, it's going that way. So by us going this way, right, I'm gonna take my string, because on the inside of it, it has little grooves in it that the string go in. So to string it up, you guys, you see this little piece on the bottom piece? That look like a little bump, this piece here? This way you wanna start putting the string on first. On the inside, you have two grooves. You have one here, and you have one here. You wanna first start putting the string on the side where the hump at. The little thing I was telling you earlier, see this? Start off putting the string inside the groove next to this first. So, on this side, it tells you which direction the string goes. It has an arrow for you to go the direction that the arrow tells you to go. So, it's telling me to go that way. So when I turn it around towards the little hump that's on it, I'm gonna stick it into the groove. It's a little groove that the wire you go into. So I stuck it in the groove, and it's closest, the groove that I'm on now, it's closest to this. It's not close to the spring. See the spring? So I'm not putting it in the groove closest to the spring first. I'm putting it in the groove closest to the hump first. So once you uh, put it in the groove closest to the hump first, it has a little hole that the string go inside. Now, it's telling me to go this way with the line. So I go this way with the line because the arrow on the back of it next to the spring is showing me the direction that it's supposed to be going on. So I go this way. And you want to pull it with a little tension. You don't want the wire loose. So you, you go this way and then once you get the wire about This length, maybe seven or eight inches, right? You got a little groove here that you can take it and stick it on there. So it won't be in your way when you get ready to put the next piece of wire on. Here's my other piece of wire that I cut, you guys. So what we're gonna do is, the wire that I have here is here. You see it? It has another groove next to it here. So now I'm about to put the wire here and you do this second. So next to the hump first, and next to the spring, second. So now, I'm about to put the string into 
a little groove. It's a little hole in there. See how it holds in there? All right. And once I got it in there, I'm going to go the way that it's telling me to go, which is this way. So I'm stringing it up. And I'm pulling with some tension because you don't want the wire loose. Once you get to about six to seven, eight inches, right? It has a little groove next to the bump that you can stick it in. See that? Now I got both wires in because it has two grooves. And again, on the back side next to the spring, it shows you the directions on which way you need to turn the wire once you set it inside the groove. Now that I got the string in both sides of the groove, I get my weed eater head. You see it? You grab it from the, the hump part. Here's the spring. You wanna put the spring inside the little hole. So once I set that down inside the hole, you have these two little things on the side. These little metal pieces on the side. See those little metal pieces? You have two of them, right? So, what I'm gonna do, see this is where this end of the wire is, and that is where the other end of the wire is. So I'm gonna stick the spring inside there, and where those little metal pieces at, I'm gonna push down, cause it got a spring. You wanna push down, just like I pushed down to turn to the left or the right to take it out. You want to push down and turn to the left or right to keep it in. And you want to line your strings up with the little metal piece. Line your string up with the little metal piece. So when I push it in, it stays. But I have this wire lined up on this side. So I take it out of the little groove. I take this out of the groove on this piece. And I set it inside the little groove or the metal piece. The metal piece is on the side. So now the wire is hanging out from the side and I do the exact same thing with the other side. I line the wire up with the metal piece once I pushed it in and turn it to the left or right for it to hold and stay. So now I line this wire up with this piece. So then I take it and I put it inside of that metal piece. You see it? So now I have the wires on both metal pieces. That's why you see them sticking out. Then you want to take your cover. This is your cover. You want to take your cover and you want to line these pieces. See these little grooves here on both sides? You want to line, you want to line these up with the little holes that I had mashed earlier. Remember the holes that I mashed earlier to take this off? So you want to line these up with the little holes that's on the side. So once I put that in, right, on that side, I push it down in, you know, next to this little hole here, and the other one on the other end, I take my thumb and push that in a little bit and snap it on. Then once I snap it on, Pull both of the wires tight. You heard the thing uh, spring out. Now, I've wired up my weed eater. It's actually wired now, you guys. That's how you wire up a weed eater. The steel model. Matter of fact, any one of them that's made like this and has the same head as this, you wind it up the exact same way. No problem. Now, if you want to crank it up, you have a little button here, which is the primer. You wanna prime that four to five times, sometimes six. And you have the place where your gas go at. Remember what I was saying earlier, what you have to mix with your gas? The two cycle oil. Make sure you mix this correctly. Make sure you mix that correctly. 
So once you have the gas in here, because it's gas already in here, right? And you prime this several times. Then you have the on and off button. So if I mash it down, that's to turn it off. But if I don't mash it at all, it's ready to go. See this piece here? That orange piece? And you see the trigger underneath? I mashed both of those at the same time after I primed it. After I prime it. And I pull the string. I have this right here, the other end of it, towards the ground. And I have this end towards my waist and I just pull the string to crank it up. There you go, guys. That's how to wire the weed eater and how to crank it. That's how you do the weed eater. I mash the button down to turn it off. Now for the blower, same thing. The blower, it has a prime button as well. This is the prime button for this. I have gas in it. Yes, I do. You can use a funnel and put inside the gas, put a funnel here, and that way you can pull the gas in but remember, it cannot be just straight up gas. You have to mix it with the two cycle oil. Two gallons, this is right here, it's per two gallons. So I put this in two gallons and shake it up. Now, once you prime this with the button several times, prime it, take this button, Turn it upward, and I'm gonna set this on the ground, you guys, to crank it. Before I crank it, you gotta know about the lever. On the opposite side of it, it has on and off. It has on and off. Now, if I have it all the way down, in the down position, that's off. You wanna have it normal. Or it's a little lever, or a little instruction thing right here, look like a, the letter I. Like the letter I. So you want to have that on like the letter I, and this has a trigger as well. See the trigger? That has a trigger as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the blower on the ground. After I've primed I'm it, pulling the string, I'm holding this piece down with my hand with pressure towards the ground. I'm holding it. And then I pull the string. cuts off. I thank you guys for tuning in to see how to crank up a steel blower and how to wire a weed eater or, the, or either a weed whacker. Some people call it a weed whacker. Down south we call it a weed eater. Just showed you guys how to string that up and to crank it up and showed you guys what to use to mix with the gas and, and the amount. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. T-Nizzle, over and out.